The Wesley family in Tain, four generations under one roof and everyone housebound. Kerry is working from home and still being paid by her employer, but the other earners in the family are self-employed. Darren and Craig's decorating work has dried up and Nikki's ironing business is no longer in demand. I personally am worried crazy about the whole situation. I really feel that we need to get as much help from the government as the, self, as the employed people have. As it stands, the government is compensating the employed for lost earnings, but not the self-employed. It has made the benefit system more generous, but that won't prevent hardship here. We have a little bit of savings, but not a lot. So once that's run out, what do we do? What help are we going to get? Just over 5 million people in the UK are self-employed. Most are male and most work full-time. One in five works in construction, the sector which uses the most casual workers. One in three of the self-employed earns less than £10,000 a year, so many are low earners. And one in four is also an employee. The government says this makes providing targeted financial support complicated. The self-employed are at the heart of every community, as dentists, mechanics, restaurants and hairdressers close, so the people who work in them find themselves financially vulnerable. The Chancellor has been trying to come up with a way of giving money to those who need it while not giving it to those who don't. Because while some self-employed people have seen their incomes suddenly disappear, others are either in work still or arguably wealthy enough not to need support from the taxpayer. The Resolution Foundation calculates that at least 1.3 million people have been hurt financially by the restrictions to slow the spread of the virus and says the taxpayer should do more to help them. Government has got ways to try and deal with this. We recommend they look at taking the tax payments people have made over the previous years and, and topping up people's income so that they're not seeing big falls from the level of income they've been used to when they've been doing self-employed work over the last few years. All over the UK, the self-employed are looking for a lifeline. I do mixed privates and NHS, and in both counts, I don't know where my next money's coming from. From dentists in Birmingham... We're scared, we're worried. We don't know where to bicycle couriers in Middlesbrough. Tomorrow, they'll find out if they'll get one. John Hills, News at 10.